Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. Today it is Thursday, the 27th of May. I'm actually going to be just at home today doing a bunch of things at home because Hal left super early to go do some car stuff. So he took the car and therefore I cannot get to work. But anyways, I got a bunch of things I need to catch up on on my laptop anyway. But we just actually got announced that we're going into a seven day lockdown here in Melbourne. So I kind of wanted this to happen just because you guys know we have some pop ups coming up in June, July, July. Sorry, it's coming up in July and we have a Melbourne one and we don't know if that's going to go ahead. Obviously, if things aren't safe to do so, we won't have the pop ups, but we're hoping that we can get this under control and that it can go ahead. As for the other states, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to cancel it just because already, if we have to go to Perth, we have to quarantine for 14 days and that's just impossible because with the whole of July, we have a pop-up every single weekend. So that's just not gonna happen, but praise and fingers crossed that Melbourne will be okay and will be safe and we'll be able to do so, but not looking too good at the moment. Anyways, we're going to start the video. I actually need to go to the shops because I'm going to show you my fridge. There's like nothing in it, but I'm really worried because I've heard people are panic buying again. Like I literally just need to buy some chicken and some veggies so I can have for lunch tonight and tomorrow because I haven't done my weekly grocery shop yet. So we'll see how this goes. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are from Melbourne, make sure you're staying safe as well. Let's start the day. All right. <laughs> look into our little fridge it kind of does look quite full we actually have a decent amount of drinks i think we're going to be okay for that but with like meat wise i've got this chicken here but this is just for honey because i have to give her some medicine this is like leftover nando's from yesterday um otherwise for dinner all that we have is some eggs i've got some garlic bread we've just got our drinks more drinks this is some cooked rice and in here it's just like a bunch of like random stuff which I'm not even going to use. I really should just throw half of that away because I don't know how long it's been sitting in there. But as you guys can see, there's like no fresh veggies, no meats or anything. So let's try get at least one or two trays of meat and some veggies. Oh my god, so I literally just got back from the shops and I was so happy. There was literally everything that I needed to get at Woolworths. We weren't sold out of anything. There was even so much toilet paper all over the place, which I don't know why still people are sh like panic buying toilet paper it honestly makes no sense there's heaps of meat veggies and all that so i just grabbed the main things i needed i got like uh chicken breast minced meat so i can make pasta or lasagna and i got some pork belly because since we are going to be in this weekend i thought why not make some crispy pork belly or something like that because at least i'll have the time to do so but yes i'm so happy because my mum literally tried to go to coles this morning and she just wanted some breakfast stuff and stuff for dinner tonight and she couldn't even get that so Happy that my Woolworths is stocked full. I hope your Woolworths and your Coles is okay. Pretty sure there wasn't even any limits as well, which was great because I know that a lot of the, a lot of the stores now are imposing the limits. So um yeah, but anyways, as you guys can tell, I am just catching up on MasterChef behind me whilst having some breakfast, and then we shall get to work and to cleaning the house. <laughs> spent the last 30 minutes trying to do a voiceover for a TikTok video I just uploaded. If you guys saw in our previous video, I'm in control of the cocaine TikTok at the moment. And I'm honestly pretty excited. I feel like I'm doing okay, especially because like I'm so new to this type of stuff. But we just hit over a thousand followers, which I know doesn't seem much for TikTok, but going from like 400 to a thousand in two or three days is pretty wild although I know some people can jump a lot quicker but I'm just trying to do the best that I can but honestly it took so long I was just trying to do a little behind the scenes of a photo shoot that we did last week which you guys already saw and I just could not get the words out of my mouth and what I was trying to say it was super super frustrating but we got it up here it is. I'm so sick of my voice right now, but that's what I've spent the last little bit doing. Hal's currently on his way home now, so maybe I'll get him to chat to you guys and see. Honestly, I haven't been doing that much work. I fixed up my Etsy a little bit and just been trying to make a bunch of different content and videos. I never realized how long this took, but at least now I think I've got about two to three videos 
for TikTok that I can post throughout this week. I've been trying to upload every single day. So far, so good. He's home and he's DIYing all of a sudden everything. If you don't remember, this was a cause. Hey, it was cause prior and now it's still cause. It was a puzzle that we did. And now That's it's the pink straight. one. That is definitely not straight. It's like, I don't know. But um, the house is nice and clean now. You guys can see. I still need to back it, but everything is good. Need to put this away, but it's all washed. The sink's empty. Need to snacks. Could put them away, but we eat them all the time. But I'm super happy with it. As you guys can see right here, it is 100% official. The pop-up tour has been canceled. So currently right now, Howard's is behind me. He's just trying to fix everything because he spent all this time scheduling Instagram posts for the next like month or two months for all the pop-ups. And now he's gonna delete all that work that he's done and redo it. But we now have our online pop-up on June 17th. Our online pop-up, our online drop on June 17th. So everything other pop-up will now be available a lot earlier. So you guys get excited for that. And everyone in Melbourne, stay safe. I feel like we shouldn't be doing this, but right now we're about to go out for our last dinner in for seven days. I mean, seven days is not bad, but honestly, Deep down, I feel like the lockdown or this whole Melbourne situation is going to get worse. So we're just going to go enjoy a nice dinner out. It's definitely going to get worse before it gets better. And I literally went, so today, um, did you tell them what I did today? Not really, no. Uh, I went to go uh, get my car fixed, tuned and everything. I pulled, babe, do you know how much power I put out of the GDR? 330 kilowatts. That's a lot of power. Out of, anyway, I got my last uh, basketball... Um, uh, shoot around. Oh, lucky practice. you did that today. No, yeah, because Cam told me he's like, you better go shoot around right now or no basketball for like God knows how he's long. He's supposed to have basketball tonight at like 6 p.m. It's meant to happen right now, but that also got cancelled, which understandable. But it's my my best friend Kev's birthday, so we have to go to his dinner because his dinner was actually planned for tomorrow. tomorrow. And now we're going today. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I think we will probably end the video here. Thanks for hanging out with me at home today. I guess the next couple of vlogs will probably also be at home and just doing work life at home but today's notification video shout out will go to Andrew Chan thank you so much Andrew Chan for commenting on our previous video I appreciate you so much if you guys would like a shout out in our next video don't forget to just give this a big thumbs up and comment down anything below bye guys bye.